The Xbox Game Bar can come in really handy, especially if you want to record and share your gameplay, but if it is not recording, there's not much you can do about it. My name is Hidullah, you're watching Ganeta Technology and in this video we're going to fix that problem for you. So the first thing that we're going to do is to check whether or not the Xbox Game Bar is enabled. Now you can do this by pressing Windows key plus I to open Windows settings. And in here, I'm just going to head over to the gaming tab right here. Then click on game bar and make sure that allow your controller to open game bar option is enabled. Uh, if you don't have a controller, you can press Windows key plus G or just go to game bar, uh, search for game bar in the start menu, to open this up and you can change the shortcut uh, from right here so now that you've checked if your game bar is open another option is to repair or reset the game bar now you can do this by once again heading over to windows key plus i this time we are going to the apps section then we're going to install apps and in here i'm just going to search for game bar if it doesn't show up here, then click on system components and you will see game bar right here. Head over to the other direction and you will see uh, three dots. We're going to click on them and then click on advanced options. Now in here, you will see a couple of options when you scroll down a little. Uh, we are interested in the reset section of it. So if uh, the game bar isn't working properly or if any other windows component isn't working properly, the first thing that you try is to reset them or rather repair them. So go ahead and click on the repair button. You will see this progress bar appears. Let it run out and uh, this should fix the problem with the game bar not opening or not functioning as intended. If that doesn't work, you can go ahead and completely reset it and that also can fix the problem. So uh, try repairing. If that doesn't work, try a resetting and that should be able to fix the issue that you're facing. If repairing or resetting the game bar didn't work, you can also try manually updating a registry key that should fix the problem. So to do this, press Windows key plus R and type in regedit to open the registry editor. Give it the permissions that it needs. And now we are going to hkey current user, then software. We're going to find Microsoft in this, going to Microsoft, then we're going to Windows, then current version. And in here, you should see a game DVR uh, registry key right here. I will put this link in the description below so that you can reach here easily. But once you're here, you will see a bunch of registry keys. The one that we want isn't present here, so we're just going to go ahead and create it. Now right click on an empty space, click on new and then click on D word 32 bit value. I'm going to name this app capture enable and press enter. Now double click this to open settings and set the value to 1. This will force the game bar to open up and record whatever game activity you want to record instead of uh, not being able to function properly. Once you're done with these settings, go ahead and click on OK to save the changes, restart your system and the game bar should be back up and running. Another option you can try is to check the integrity of some Windows components that might fix the problem using the SFC command. Now we're going to do this by using the command prompt. So press the Windows key and search for the command prompt. And once the option appears, we're going to run it as an administrator. Give Windows the permissions it needs. And uh, now we're going to enter two commands. So the first one is SFC slash scan file is equal to and then I'm going to give it a drive location on the system so C Windows system 32 IE frame dot PLL go ahead and press enter and uh, this should go ahead and scan the integrity of your file 
you may need to give a space between SFC and scan file. All right, so uh, now that seems to be working. All right, so uh, as you can see, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations in this one. So we are going to run another scan, which will be SFC slash verify file space C colon Windows System 32 IE frame.dll but this time we are also associating it with the general sfc scan now command go ahead and press enter if all of this looks good you are good to go just restart your system and then game bar should start working again last but not least it's always a good idea to check for windows updates so go ahead and press windows key plus i to open windows settings and in the bottom you'll see a windows update option as you can see my system is up to date with the latest version of windows i have an update preview pending but this i don't necessarily need to install uh, if your windows is up to date chances are all windows components are also going to be updated and will be functioning properly so you don't need to worry about that so just make sure as a general maintenance thing you keep your windows updated and that's it that should fix any game bar issues that you might be facing if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video